Hi there, students. Quixotic. Okay, this is an adjective, quite a formal one, which means extremely idealistic, unrealistic, not living in the real world, ridiculously optimistic, chivalrous, romantically unworldly. OK, this comes from a book by Cervantes, uh, a Spanish author of the early 17th century, and he wrote a book called Don Quixote. I think they normally say quicksod in English, but I can't bring myself to give it that name. And it's a story about a man who thinks that he imagines that he is a knight, a knight of chivalry. And he goes round cor correcting uh, wrongs and uh, making them right. But he lives in a total dream world and he's totally unrealistic and not comprehending the things that he does. So somebody who is quixotic is somebody who has really good intentions, but they're just totally impractical. They're not going to work. They're not real world things. So you could have a quixotic project or a quixotic code of honor. Yeah. So the quixotic project is going to do wonders for everybody. But the problem is it's not going to work. So let's see, for example, I'm all in favor of uh, protecting the environment. But I think many of the environmentalist projects are very quixotic. Yeah, they're idealistic. They want to change the world and make things better. But they're just not going to work with this market economy we live in. And they will be quixotic until there is some sort of radical change. OK, quixotic is quite a, a formal word as well. OK, so, yeah. Quixotic comes from the uh, book about Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. And I think this is one of the first novels uh, ever written. It's a story about this chivalrous knight who lives in this dream world. OK, so a quixotic idea, unrealistic, impossible to implement. Anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Expecting to learn good English from scratch in a week is totally quixotic. So don't believe any advertisements that tell you that.